We don't need to eliminate DHT completely. I know it sounds tempting because if you get rid of DHT, you don't have hair loss, you don't have prostate growth. What's the problem, right? If you don't have DHT, you're gonna have all the symptoms of low testosterone. You're gonna have no energy, no drive. Sex performance is gonna suffer. Life sucks without DHT as a man. I want to have DHT. I just want a little bit less DHT because if I bring the DHT down a little bit, I don't notice any side effects. If I crush the DHT and I bring it down all the way, then uh, not only is it not as helpful for the prostate as you think, because there are studies where you just destroy DHT and the, it still doesn't resolve the prostate because there's other factors. Like there's other pathways we still need to pay attention to. It's just the DHT is the most important pathway to pay attention to. So first we deal with the DHT pathway. We don't want to reduce the DHT, not eliminate the DHT. Have you experienced low DHT? Tired of supplements that don't work? Then head to enhancedlabs.com and 10% off when you use the code below. Link in the bio.